some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a new frauditor for you today that gets absolutely schooled on Poster 7 by a postal worker for once. It's amazing to see that this postal worker actually knows what Poster 7 is. I give him credit for that, and it is an awesome spectacle. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We got the post office here. Beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. I don't know why people keep looking at me funny. Well, because they're staring at an idiot standing outside of a post office with a video camera, they probably know you're going to go in there to cause trouble. Alright, well let's go in and get our stamp. We have some signage here. Uh, no, I'm just taking pictures. Okay, you can't be taking pictures. Okay. I have to inform you, you're actually wrong. I can be. No, you can't. Yes, I can. How, how do you see that? Sorry, dude, you are wrong, and he's about to school you on that. And for good measure, I know you won't see this video ever, maybe, but I'll put up that meme I like to put up after he schools you. It's the law. Is you talking about poster seven? This is what you're talking about right here? Exactly, poster seven. It says right there, photographs for news purposes may be taking in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meeting. Okay, except so there's for, no public meetings going except on. Except right for now. where prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or authorized personnel or federal court okay. order. Or it also says you have to have permission of the facility head. No, it does not. Actually, it very much does say that you've got to have permission to do it from the postmaster or installation head. Yes, it does. You, you... Let me find it here. Hold on just a second. Let me go get the glasses. Are you, uh, so what is it you're doing? What is it you're doing? I don't have to tell you that. It's not none of your business. Okay, I'm asking you to leave one time, one time only. Then I'm going to call the police, okay? Okay, if, okay. I'll, if you do, I'll sit here and I'll wait for them to get here. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Because Poster 7 says that you have to have permission to do that. All right, go ahead and do that. Okay, be glad to. A little longer than a few minutes later. Why do you want to stir up? Sir? I'm not trying to stir up anything, sir. Please. I mean, leave people alone. I'm standing up for your rights. I am. What are you doing right now? Are you a libertarian? You ought to be. Wow. You waiting for the police to be called? You want to Please, go have fun. Yeah, it's going to be real funny when the cops get here and they go inside and tell the guy to stop bugging me and then for them to sell me my stamp. Well, the cops are not going to come, but that postmaster or manager is going to handle you quite well. I'm conducting business on a business. Right. Yeah, it looks like he just came out a second ago. Check if I was still here. And I am still here. Oh, I'm so scared. You know, it's really a bummer that they gave everyone cell phones with cameras in them now that everyone can broadcast. All right, you can go ahead and All right, good deal. Don't film me. I'll try not but you to. you can't come into where the customers are. I need to purchase a stamp. You have to put your phone away. No, sir, that is not how it works. Show you something. Alright, 
So poster seven, we're talking about photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes. I'm right here. So it says photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited by official signs. So if there's a public meeting going on, and I know you're a First Amendment audience. Well, I think public meeting means any... No, public meeting means if, like, say, like the uh, local government is holding a public meeting here. That's what public meeting means. So, or security force personnel or other authorized personnel. Or if you refuse to sell me a stamp, okay. you're, you're denying the public of service. Well, this is the deal. I can't let you film in there while people are using their cards. See, that's the thing is, it, it's not, that's not my fault. You should have it covered up. And then that's... Well, they, they can't cover it up. I'm not trying to be rude to you. I know you're a first I know, auditor. But that's not my fault. Doing. You guys just should preserve their privacy. It's not my... Well, we do preserve their privacy. That's what I'm trying to do is preserve their privacy by not allowing you to film. Oh, yeah. He hit the nail on the head. He's trying to preserve the privacy of the customers by keeping these bloody First Amendment idiotic auditors out of the building. Anyone can just come in there and take a picture real quick. That's what I'm saying is like, you should be preserving the privacy. I'm trying to stop you from doing that. I'm trying to preserve their privacy. I know. And if I had any will to steal from anybody, that's the last thing I'm doing here. You're invading their privacy when you're in there with that camera film. I am not. This is public property. You're a First Amendment auditor, right? I'm mm -hmm. assuming this is going to go yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. That's what I figured. Let me make another phone call because yes, I was sir. told to not allow you in there. I beg to differ that they're very wrong on that. I understand that. I understand, but I... I just want to get my stamp and get out. That's all I want to do. You're not going in there with a camera. It, it's not going to happen. It's, it's not breaking the law. It's not going to happen. But it's not breaking the law. I'm not trying to be rude to you, but, but I'm They're denying to... me service. That's I'm breaking the law. service. I'm denying you getting in there filming. That's what I'm doing. But by denying me service, you're breaking the law, actually. No, 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 no. They can deny you service. Looks like somebody is misinterpreting the laws and poster seven. So I know you're not going to see this, but I'm going to use a meme that I like to use on this channel. It's from Ass Elmo, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. Well, apparently the postman called the postmaster and let him know what was going on. The postmaster informed him to wait till everybody cleared out of the area so he could he could buy his one stamp and then get rid of him. But there's only one woman in there. She doesn't have any of her personal information out because she's already conducted her business and waiting for a package or something like that. Here, go to lunch. No, no. Not, not around today, huh?
One stamp. Well, there you have it. He thinks it's a win, but he never got an argument out of the whole thing, and he got schooled in the process on what that poster 7 actually says. All in all, that postal worker handled the situation quite well. He deserves a raise for knowing what the poster actually says.